Good morning, Mayor Muriel Bowser, Elizabeth Gorginski, Assistant Superintendent of Early Learning, Michelle Gerstein, Chairperson of the Majors Interagency Coordinating Council, Strong Star staff, Interagency Coordinating Council members, families, and community partners. I am pleased to welcome you to a Strong Star. I am Andres Alvarado, Director of Early Intervention. Strong Star is the District of Columbia's Early Intervention Program that is administered through the Office of the State Superintendent of Education, Division of Early Learning. This is truly an exciting day. I want to thank Mayor Bowser for joining us today. We are thrilled and honored to have you visiting our program. Your investments and endless commitment to improve the lives of all young children and families in the district is remarkable. Thank you, Assistant Superintendent of Early Learning, Elizabeth Groginski, for your leadership and commitment to improve the lives of all young children in the district and to improve outcomes for children and to implement evidence-based practices in early intervention. I also want to thank and acknowledge our Strong Start staff for their passion and dedication for the children and the families. They, along with our vendor agencies and early interventionists, are the ones that make this work possible every day and touch lives of thousands of children and families throughout the district. Our mission is to identify and serve infants and toddlers under age three with developmental disabilities and their families. We have a talented and diverse team of 40 staff and over 175 early interventionists that contract with different vendor agencies to provide services to over 1,300 district children and their families every month. Over the last three years, we have implemented the evidence-based natural learning environment practices approach to service delivery. Under this approach, early intervention services support families and caregivers to help the child learn and develop during a child's daily activities and routines. We support and coach families, give them strategies, and help them develop the skills they need so that their child can reach their fullest potential. Using a coaching interaction style, early interventionists collaborate and partner with parents and caregivers to identify activities and strategies they are already doing well and help them with additional ones to support their child's development. Strong Start Early Intervention Services are also provided in a child's natural environment, which includes their home, early care and education settings, libraries, and other community settings. That means we work in a place where a child is comfortable and spends most of their time. The goal of the Strong Start Community Playgroup Program is to provide all DC families with equitable access to a developmentally appropriate environment for their children to interact with same age peers, while families receive information about their child's development, the DC early intervention process, and other community resources available for families. Each play group is facilitated by early interventionists from a strong start and one child find outreach specialist at each location. Our child find staff provide on-site developmental screenings for families and assist them with submitting referrals to our program. In fiscal year 2019, with a partnership with the DC Public Library, we expanded access to playgroup locations to six libraries in addition to our Strong Star location, allowing us to have representation in each quadrant of the city. Through this new model of offering community playgroups for children under the age of three, Strong Star has served over 200 individual families. With a continued partnership with DC Public Library, our goal is to have at least one playgroup in each ward of the district in 2020. We know that early intervention services can make a difference in children, their families, and the community. Early intervention works because we support both the family and the child. Early intervention works because we start early in a child's life. We know the sooner that an intervention can be done or can be provided for a child who is experiencing a developmental delay, the better chance we have to impact that child's developmental and educational progress. We are proud of the work Strong Start does with children and families and the positive impact it has in the district. Our goal is to have families leave our program feeling excited, empowered, and confident that their child is able to, in what their child is able to do, that they are in a better place than when they started with us. At the end of the day, that's what it matters. With that said, it is my great pleasure to introduce one of our strong parents, 
and chairperson of the Majors Interagency Coordinating Council, Michelle Gerstein. Thank you, Andres. My strong start journey began by chance two and a half years ago when my oldest son was just 18 months old. I happened to be playing with him on the playground outside the Southwest Library. It was there that I witnessed a group of nannies pack up and head into the library at once. I followed them, and by luck, I was able to participate in the Strong Start playgroup as a walk-in, and this drastically changed the course of my son's life. I found the playgroup to be an incredibly supportive environment with a knowledgeable team. I started attending regularly with my oldest son and was able to ask questions about his development to professionals that I otherwise would not have had regular access to. When a potential speech issue was identified, the playgroup facilitators guided me through the Strong Start referral process, allowing me to access much needed services for my son. What I thought was a simple speech delay actually turned out to be a motor planning disorder called childhood apraxia of speech. After receiving speech therapy for a few months, my son's therapist noticed some other red flags and suggested he get further assessments. This additional testing resulted in an autism spectrum disorder diagnosis. With the help of our service coordinator, we were able to add new therapies to my son's services to help him address his additional needs. These early intervention services completely changed not only my son's life, but the lives of our entire family. After two and a half years of early intervention therapy, my son is now extremely verbal and has learned strategies to help him interact with others and manage his sensory sensitivities. I feel so fortunate that our family was able to receive these services and I wanted to give back to this amazing early intervention community. Therefore, when the opportunity came up for me to become involved with the Interagency Coordinating Council, I jumped at the chance. My family is grateful to live in a community that lifts children up and gives them the needed to support to succeed in life. In closing, I would like to thank the supporters, staff, and facilitators of Playgroups and Strong Start. I can personally testify that you change people's lives. Finally, thank you, Mayor Bowser, for your continued support of the ICC and for allowing me to serve on this council. Your dedication to our cause and support to other families like mine to access much needed services in the district will allow our children to thrive. With that, it is my privilege and pleasure to introduce the Honorable Mayor Muriel Bowser. Let's give Michelle a big round of applause. Thank you. And Andres, thank you so much for that wonderful uh, description. And I turned to Andres and I said, when we were listening to you, what a testimony. Um, and we are grateful, like you followed a group of women, nannies going into a building. We can all follow Michelle uh, because she learned, like many of us do, about programs and services from word of mouth, um, from a friend or family member, uh, or just by luck. And part of what we are doing here is to make sure um, that residents of the District of Columbia know the plethora of services and initiatives and programs and places like Strong Start um, that are designed um, to make sure that their child and their family reaches its full potential. I'm honored to be joined by the Deputy Mayor for Education, Paul Kine. Let's give Paul a big round of applause, uh, as well as Elizabeth Roginski who is the super, uh, Assistant Superintendent for Early Education at the Office of the State Superintendent. Give uh, Elizabeth a big round of applause, as well as Faith Gibson Hubbard, who is the Executive Director of uh, Thrive by Five, uh, which is our citywide effort to make sure that children zero to five have each and everything um, that they need. Thank you. So you uh, heard all about what Strong Start is and does and the impact that it has on people's lives in the district. Uh, and it is part of a number of investments that we are making to make sure that students of all abilities in our elementary, middle, and high schools uh, and their families know the interventions that are available 
that can make sure that these students um, reach every success possible. Uh, in finding out about these programs and services, even before they get to school, we know is the critical first step. Uh, and so strong start uh, in, in our early intervention program is one of the ways that we do that. Uh, we know that no ch two children are exactly the same, uh, and there is no exact date in an infant's life when a parent can expect their child to reach a certain milestone. Uh, so as parents, we, of course, are a child's primary caregiver and primary advocate. Uh, so this, for most people, is quite nerve-wracking. When you think your child should be doing this because the child next door is doing that. Um, quite nerve-wracking. So we've read the books. Uh, we look at the milestone charts. But still, it's helpful uh, when we can talk to professionals who can give us the right answers and put us in the right direction uh, when we have questions about our child's development. Now, I learned something in getting ready for today. Uh, I learned about these play groups uh, and how outstanding it is. And I like where you're going with this, Andres. They should be in all eight wards. Uh, and it's great to be in uh, the four quadrants and great to be in partnership with our public libraries. But we have done a fantastic job of building buildings, schools, libraries, and recreation centers. Um, but as I say frequently, those that's just bricks and mortar. Uh, what makes them special is what happens inside and the professionals that bring them to life. So I am delighted that we have this partnership. Finally, I want to say um, that we're, we've been focused all of the last week letting everyone know about our Maternal and Infant Health Summit. Uh, it's our second. It's a national uh, summit where we're inviting experts from around the country to talk about how uh, we have well women and healthy babies in the District of Columbia, uh, and especially uh, how we're talking uh, to African-American women in our city uh, who have a higher incidence of infant and uh, maternal mortality, um, not just in our city, but in other places in our country as well. So please join us in probably a thousand of your neighbors uh, in talking about how we can continue to have well women, healthy babies, and get those babies off to a strong start. So with that, I would like to invite uh, Elizabeth Groginski uh, to talk a little bit more about Aussie's role in Strong Start in the Infant and Maternal Health Summit, and then we'll take your questions. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Bowser, for your unwavering support and continuous investments in early childhood health development and education. At Aussie, we are very excited to be a sponsor of the National Maternal health, um, and Infant Health Summit coming up tomorrow. Uh, and we'll be there both in support in workshops, um, but just, again, to spread the word that we have these amazing programs across the district that we want families to know about when they're thinking about getting pregnant uh, and when they have a child. Um, I also want to thank Andres Alvarado and the Strong Start team for the work they do each day to support and partner with district families who have concerns about their child's development. In fact, the District of Columbia's Strong Start program received the highest determination possible from the Office of Special Education Programs at the U.S. Department of Education. And this is clearly, yes, good applause for that. This is a result of the commitment and dedication of the Strong Start staff, families, and our partners. Um, as reported by the National Early Childhood Technical Assistance Center, the Infants and Toddlers with Disabilities Program, often referred to as Part C of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, IDEA, was created in 1986 to enhance the development of infants and toddlers with disabilities, minimize potential developmental delay, and reduce educational costs by minimizing the need for special education services as children reach school age. Strong Start is the District of Columbia's Part C program and is the single point of entry for infants and toddlers whose families have concerns about their child's development. To maximize parent choice, the district implemented the extended option for Part C in 2014. Once a child is found eligible for what we call Part B, preschool special education services, the family has a choice to remain in the Part C program up to the first day of school following their child's fourth birthday. The family can also choose their right to exercise their free appropriate public education at any time. 
Strong Start provides developmental evaluations, service coordination, and linkages for families to other resources and supports. These services are provided at no cost to families. The Center on the Developing Child at Harvard has compiled decades of rigorous research that shows that ch children's earliest experiences play a critical role in brain development. The brain is strengthened by positive early experiences, especially stable relationships with caring and responsive adults, and supportive environments and appropriate nutrition. Early social and emotional development and physical health provide the foundation upon which cognitive and language skills develop. Services to young children who have a developmental delay or disability have been shown to positively impact outcomes across health, language and communication, cognitive development, and social and emotional development. Families, as Andres talked about, benefit from early intervention by being able to better meet their children's special needs from an early age, and Michelle as well highlighted that. Our approach at Strong Start is to provide services that are flexible, evidence-based, and culturally and linguistically responsive. One of Aussie's core values is partnership, and we are proud of the strong partnerships we have built with DC Health, the Department of Healthcare Finance, the district's Medicaid managed care organizations, Child and Family Services Agency, and the DC Public Library to enhance Strong Start's capacity to effectively identify, evaluate, and meet the needs of all children and families in, in their families. We also partner with approximately 32 vendor agencies that provide early intervention services, such as hearing and vision services, speech therapy, physical and occupational therapies, family support and education and developmental therapy. To ensure the smooth transition of children with delays and developmental disabilities from Strong Start to our Part B preschool education services, we work closely with early stages, DC public schools, and our public charter schools to ensure timely and effective transitions for all of our Part C children. At, we are proud of our community play groups, which bring together families throughout the city on different days through each month to play and learn together. Again, we are incredibly grateful to the mayor and the DC council for their leadership and their investments in high quality early childhood programs and the services that support district families. Strong Start will be there at the summit tomorrow with all their resources and along with other, our child care resource and referral to really, again, get the message out. We, don't, we love that families get it word of mouth, but we want to make sure they have it from the first day they need it. And it is now my pleasure to bring back the Honorable Mayor Muriel Bowser to close out our program and join our community play group. Okay, I'll take any press questions, press questions, press questions. Okay, any community questions? Okay, thank you very much. I get to take a tour and I think see a play group. Yeah. All right, thank you everybody.